Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith. This is the definitive edition of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Season 1, Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Which is proving itself ever more an apropos title with each episode we do. Because it's getting kind of crazy. We're in Crawford, which was supposed to be this big secure camp. Only to find out that the camp has fallen and everybody's dead and walking around. We're inside of a school that they were using, apparently, as some kind of command post. Where we're trying to find fuel and batteries and, like, car batteries, not, like, double A's. And we also need to find medicine. Like, prescription-grade medication. We've managed to find the battery. Molly has that right now. Though Molly's doing some weird, sketchy stuff off on her own. And she also went completely psycho on... A very particular walker. Like, she attacked it in a very personal way. So I'm thinking she's she's definitely hiding something. Because she also knew that the nurse's station was where they were hiding all their medication at. So it just, I don't know, something feels like she's been here before. So hopefully we'll find out more about that. Um, we've found the fuel. Kenny and, I don't remember what the lady's name is, Bree? I think was her name. They got the the fuel, but they also got chased by a massive herd of walkers that are outside of glass doors right now. So we'll see how long that glass holds. Uh, hopefully it holds for a while. And we now are up against the final roadblock, which is trying to figure out a way to get the medication. Because all the meds are locked in a safe. Well... It's not really a safe, it's just like a secure cabinet thing. So it shouldn't be too hard to break into, but I don't know. So we'll find out. So without any further ado, let's jump into this. But if you, you know, having fun during the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Helps out a lot. And just remember, be awesome to somebody, all right? Let's jump into this. Season 1, Episode 4. All right, so got stuff all around. So this is the cabinet. I don't really want to shoot it because that just seems like a silly thing to do. Uh, what have we got around here? Uh, already cleaned out. All right, first aid kit's been used. Anything in the drawers? Maybe somebody wrote the combination you down. Already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Well, you never know. It's always worth checking. There's dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. Hmm. What the hell happened here? That's weird. What's Is that a this sonogram? It's a sonogram. No tape. <clears throat> okay. So why is there a camcorder in here? It's weird. Like I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Why would you have a camcorder in here? Not working. Oh, whoops. That was my bad. I didn't mean to to go through the door. I thought that was gonna let me rifle through that the bin of stuff on the back of the door. Yeah, see the files there on the back of the door? I thought it was going to let me go through those, so that was my fault for not reading. Because I'm it's smart like that. We haven't worked in months. Uh, it's a medical Some file. Kind of medical file. Pick up medical file. Okay. Is there anything? Anna oh, Correa. hello. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Anna Correa, 28. Okay, um, I don't really want to talk to him, but it was a tape. I wonder if I put the tape in there. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day two since the outbreak. I can. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. 
Okay. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I can see your evidence for a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. I mean... You like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. They were gonna force abortions on people? What kind of fucked up place Damn, is this? We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley of the auto shop. Was he the maybe one you that Molly like, got on him. went hardcore on? It seemed that way. He kind of looked like the same guy, but, well, actually, I was going to say there's no way to get back out there because, I mean, the hallway is going to be coated in walk, or the alleyway is going to be covered in walkers, but they all followed us in, didn't they? When the car alarm went off. Like the sound of that. That door doesn't sound like it's gonna hold for much longer. That bothers me. Yeah, and the controls really do some weird stuff. Wait, I went the wrong way. Ah, I'm a moron. All right, so I need to set the walkers off even more. Yay! <laughs> Go this way. God, the controls do weird stuff. All right. So, in theory, when I set the car alarm off, all the walkers went inside the garage. So they should still all be in there. Theoretically. Might be wrong, though. So... She somehow, like, severed his spine. Uh, let's give him a good little curb stomp. There we go. And let's search his corpse. What has he got on him? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks Logan. Like some kind of code. Six twenty six thirty nation was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Yeah, but how are you gonna get back in? Oh, okay, I, I guess we just ex machina our way in. Cool. Weird, but alright. This, this locker over here was named Logan, right? Yeah, Logan. It says it on there. This must have been his locker. So that... Yeah, that's 62630. No tape. The safe combination has got to be on one of these. Cool. That actually worked out. 
Well, provided that one of these tapes is actually useful. And it's not just him, like... I found two more tapes. Practicing, practicing his singing or something. That's the day after the first one we watched. <clears throat> Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? That's a really, Santa. really good point. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Ooh. Stabbed him in the kidney. No. No. Well, that explains how Crawford fell. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. You're pregnant. Take those meds and get the hell out of here. Yeah. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, I, I got a feeling Krista actually is pregnant. And I want to see what's on this tape. <clears throat> I feel like it... I mean, I don't know. Might be nothing at all. Might be an Easter egg. Zipping up his pants. Okay. Listen. Molly? Was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or... She'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? So that explains it. Well, shit. So she was doing what she was doing so that her sister wouldn't get thrown out. But her sister still got thrown out anyways. Or died, one of the two, because she couldn't get the medication. So I wonder what it was. Some kind of autoimmune disease, maybe? Seizure medication? I don't know. That's interesting, though, that... That was what. That explains how she knows Jesus about Christ. this place, too. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Checking on the corpse of your sister? Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Photo of your sister? You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. 
Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her... Oh. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Gotcha. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Why does the door not have anything like a hatchet in the handles? What? What's going on? Didn't didn't that door have a hatchet in it? Oh, Jesus! Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh. Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, that's bad. Damn, okay. Not much for me to do. Oh. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Wow. Nicely done, Clementine. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee, I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. Great. It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I mean, I agree with you. I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? 
I mean... Of yes. course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Okay, you voted. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. Sorry, Clementine, but... What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? No, you're not coming. I mean, you're definitely not coming now. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Bad, 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 bad. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Cool. Does it have ammo in it, though? That one. Put your leg up. Pick up again. Pick that one. Come on. Leg. Oh, this is a bad time here. Oh, okay. Nice. This is Sparta. How did he survive? I put the axe into his head. Come on. Hey, Clem. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm still good. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! What's wrong with the railroad? <laughs> Come on, let's go! Did they hang... Oh my gosh, they hung a walker. out of here. Lee. He's not injured. He's not dead. No. Lee, we both know. No. I'm not dropping you. I'll turn his ass loose. Go, go, go! We're still leaving you behind. 
but I'm not gonna kill you in cold blood like that. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey... Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Yeah, you probably could. Hopefully whatever you've you okay, got... Kid? You okay, kid? It's treated. I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. You get desensitized over time, yeah. What did you want to talk to me about? It's, I mean, it's terrible, but... I know you care about... It's how you survive. Right? Anyone can see that. Unfortunately. And I know you want what's best for her, but this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. An offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. No. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. It's time for you to leave, buddy. Back here. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Yeah, no, we're not playing that game. She's not something to just be pawned off to the next person. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee.
All right, check your pocket to make sure you that she sure didn't to just take care of that little girl. pickpocket you. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Like I said, check your check your pockets. Make sure she didn't lift anything off of you. Hey, sweet pea. Henny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Which Before he is. Tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Take the batteries out of that damn thing. It bothers me that y'all haven't figured this out yet. Take the batteries out of that freaking walkie-talkie. That has been the source of most of the problems with Clem. <sighs> Clementine. Well, I still have it, so that's good news. But wait, I took it off. How is it hooked to me now? Clementine? Playing in the backyard again? Where's everybody else? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Wait, what? Why is her hat here? She wouldn't willingly take it off. Did... Somebody snatch her? Then? Curb stomping. Prompt as fast as I could. Lee! What the f How did that happen? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Did I screw up somehow? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. Right. It, admit the to it. There's no point in hiding. Whose blood is that? You can't conceal this. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. 
Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right, if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? I'm trying to think how I could have moved faster to stop Lee from getting bitten. But I'm also wondering if this is one of those it happens regardless of what you do scenarios. I know there are some of those kind of situations out there. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. out there. So yeah, I, I still can't figure out. Is that one of those things where it happens no matter what you do? It's limit time. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! What the hell is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Seventy five percent of players did not kill the boy in the attic, fifty eight percent irrational and honest with Vernon, fifty five percent players brought Clementine with you to Crawford, fifty three percent saved Ben, 
82% showed the bite. All right. Wow, really? 16% got the entire group, but it's possible to get every combination. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, y'all. Um, that looks like the uh, the end of that episode, which has actually run a little bit long, but there wasn't really a good stopping point there. That episode started out kind of slow, to be honest with you, but it definitely ramped up there at the end. This is, this is a really good storyline, and I'm feeling surprisingly defensive towards Clementine. Like, I'm ready to go find Vernon and just start tearing limbs off. Like, I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Just the the nods that they, he was giving to his people. Like, it just, it was setting off alarm bells all over the place for me. So. And then, Lee getting bit. Is that one of those things that you just, you can't stop? Like, it's gonna happen no matter what you do? Or is it something that I just, I did something wrong? That's, that's gonna bug me for a while. But, uh... Yeah, it's... It, this has been way more intriguing of a story than I was honestly expecting when I started playing the game. Um, I... I was expecting, you know, a, a decent story, but not anything that would really draw me in like this one has. So, yeah. It's definitely been a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to see what happens, because, I mean, every episode has kind of had a little bit of a cliffhanger to it, but, you know, like, oh, here's what's going to happen next time. This time we just get full-on cold cliffhanger to be continued, and nothing else. So, all right, I'm going to see you guys next time. But uh, until then, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out a lot. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of the news, reviews, how-tos, or playthroughs here on the channel, then don't delay. Get subscribed today. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This is Wraith for Gaming Apocalypse reminding you, yes, you, stay awesome. All right, I'll see you next time.